He's been with us every off season since four or five years later. He has grown and developed into a, a man. So the natural process or a natural progression is that he's going to put on weight. He's going to add strength. So every year has been a progressive overload or an addition of, of strength, size, speed, explosiveness, and that sort of thing. Everything that we do in the weight room or on the turf is, is specific to the movement patterns that he's going to experience on the court, just trying to make those patterns stronger and more explosive for the game of basketball. The thing I like about Greg is that he focuses everything, like it's all basketball, you know, we're not going to be just lifting weights just to lift weights and get bigger. All the movements that we do are basketball oriented and stuff that we could do on the court and so that's why I love, love that about Greg. And, uh, you know, I'm not just being, I'm not training to be a bodybuilder, I'm training to be a basketball player. It's better to be fast and quick than it is to be strong. I mean, you still need to be strong, but a lot of the stuff we do is focused on that and focused on our flexibility and mobility, so that way we can move wherever we want to on the court and make sure that we're having some injury prevention. We don't want to get hurt during the season, so a lot of it is geared towards that. freshman he was under me and I just kind of bullied him and then all of a sudden he grew and I'm under him and he's bullying me. He had this old man game where he just backs you down, backs you down and throws up this bull hook shot that you can't get to. Once I got taller it was almost like come on dad let, let's just shoot. He was like five foot ten as a freshman then he went to six seven and six eight as a junior and senior so we never got to that stage where we could really just compete. Right into it. There you go. Yeah. Chan, good. Uh. 